Hey everybody, Dan here, and it is Wednesday, May 7th. Wednesday is New Comic Book Day, so it is time for a comic haul. I have been up since very early in the morning, so I'm a little uh, beat. So if I get incoherent at any point, now you'll know why. But we like to start out with the independence. And we will start out with Real Heroes number two. Brian Hitch is doing the art. Need I say more? I don't believe I need say more. All right. Victories, Mike Avon Omeg. Uh, have been uh, purchasing this. Way behind on reading it. But it looks like a uh, pretty good indie superhero universe. God is dead, number... Oh boy, 12? Number 12 it appears. That's a pretty cool uh, Hydra looking uh, cover. Again, it deals with the mythologies of uh, many different cultures battling each other. So I can't be sure that's a Hydra. You can, they do throw in a lot of different uh, deities, and creatures from different uh, mythologies. But pretty cool cover and interesting story. The Illegitimates number five. Kevin Sharp is doing the art on this one. Kevin Sharp had done Legion of Superheroes. He has done the trade cover for the upcoming Argo 5 uh Kickstarter collection. So, really great artist, really like his work, and that's why I'm picking this up. Cyberforce number nine. Always a big fan of this series from way back when it started with Image with Silvestri, and I've pretty much kept up with it since. Going into DC, Superman, Batman number 10. Uh, I think it's Carl Kershaw doing the art, who I really like his work, usually. Uh, so I will have to see what's what with that. But I've been getting this whole series, and it continues. Series I have not been getting is Teen Titans, but this is Teen Titans Forever, and it has Kenneth Rockefeller art, so that was enough for me to pick it up. Earth 2, number 23. Now this is a Gene Ha cover. I haven't seen much from Gene Ha lately. He is one of my... Uh, favorite creators. He did a series Top 10 that uh, I really can't uh, recommend highly enough. Top 10 was the uh, 10th precinct, kind of like a uh, superhero precinct uh, within a superhero or actually superhuman community, you should say, because the community wasn't really all superheroes. But it was a superhuman uh, community a superhuman precinct, and uh, I think actually Xander Cannon had done the breakdowns, the Gene Ha had done the finished art, uh, Alan Moore had written the original story. Uh, one of my favorite series ever. Um, so I can't recommend that enough. Top 10. Here he is doing the cover again of Earth 2. So I was happy to see his work. I've met him, got a couple pinups for Argo 5. Again, uh, publishing my own comic, Argo, uh, well, comic line, Argo Comics. I'm able to get the artist, uh, well, I can try for the artist who uh, work I'm the biggest fan of. Of course, some artists are so inundated with request uh, that you're not always able to get art from them. But I've been fortunate enough to get art from uh, some of my favorites. And so, you know, when you buy any of my books, you do get to see uh, 
who I prefer in the art world. Uh, another DC book, I think, uh, actually, Free Comic Book Day at number zero, so we're up to number one. New 52, Future's End. And there is Grifter. I had uh, pretty much a complete series of Wildstorm uh, Wildcats. Uh, well, Wildcats was a series, Wildstorm was a company. Uh, once they merged it in with the New 52, I'm not sure it retained uh, everything it had. Same thing with Gen 13. Really loved those as Wildstorm properties. Not so much uh, squashed into the DC universe. But everyone knows this is a big storyline right now. So I'm here for it. All right, going to Marvel, Amazing Spider-Man 1.1. I really haven't got to 1.0 yet, uh, or just number one. But this continues that with Peter Parker back. And what do we got? Original Sin 001. Again, uh, Marvel with this uh, numbering. Now... My store had a number of these as the Arthur Adams variant. Uh, the price was marked up a little as it's a variant. I don't know, perhaps you can leave it in your comments if you uh, saw it in your store. Uh, what the pricing was, but pretty much Arthur Adams... Uh, if the price is within reason, since this probably wasn't like a 1 in 50 or something like that, since my store seemed to have a number of them, and it isn't marked up that much. But uh, I do try to collect uh, all of Arthur Adams' work, if possible. Uh, again, unless it's some 1 in 100 where it's an astronomical price. But uh, I do like uh, Arthur Adams as he has to be within the top five. And you, you've heard me talk about a lot of artists. Uh, Arthur Adams, he's right up there. Uh, loved his Monkey Man O'Brien series. Hope that returns at some point. Okay, uh, we're getting into trades now. So we're actually making you turn back into independence. Invincible Universe. Uh... I was buying issues, but now these trades seem to have some extras. So I've been uh, picking up the trades. There's a number of Invincible Universe that I have issues and trades. But it seems like uh, I'm so far behind on reading everything. I have uh, actually an Invincible Compendium, two of them, to get through. Uh, I'm partially through the first. So... You know, there's no rush for me to be reading stuff. Uh, you might see me picking up some more trades these days than always single issues. All right. Not a new release, but sort of my store, and I've been interested in it. I'd seen a couple of reviews online. Uh, Mesmo Delivery by Raphael Grandpa. Uh, I'd seen some of his work online, and it really is a different style that I felt was very interesting when I uh, heard a couple things about this book. I felt it was uh, something well done and unique that I needed to uh, explore. So I'll be giving this a read. Uh, maybe I'll even do a review on it, so let everyone know what's what, and uh, yeah, it looked interesting. And uh, lastly, for free comic book day, uh, Trevor McCarthy was at my comic book store, and I did not make it down there uh, because of work, but the comic book store was nice enough to set aside 
an autographed copy for me of Batwoman, signed by Trevor McCarthy, right over there. So, that's nice, you know, he's a very good artist, and I have a number of issues of Batwoman that I am behind on reading. It says it is number one, so they must be uh, restarting it. And that does it for our haul. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will be back again, like I said, with more reviews, more comic book hauls, and hope everyone has a great week and weekend.